Today, I finally received version 9 of the Tesla software for my Model 3. I got to use the dash cam feature using the autopilot front camera. The angle of view is quite a bit narrower than most dash cams. I tested the dash cam software with a variety of devices. I used a cheap USB 2.0, 2GB, and 8GB flash drives, an expensive SanDisk USB 3.0, 256 gigabyte flash drive, and finally a 480 gigabyte SSD drive. All perform the same with no errors. I would recommend at least a 4 to 8 gigabyte flash drive since the car only records one hour at a time and then rewrites over it. If you press the dash cam icon on the screen, you can permanently save the files. The Tesla dashcam software saves the video files in an MP4 format with a resolution of 1280 by 960 and half a megabyte per second. It is in a four-thirds ratio like older standard definition TVs and the files are a maximum of one minute in length each. While looking at the files, the video frame rate is also odd. It varies between 35.7 and 36 frames per second. Usually, most video files are 24 or 30 frames per second. The file names for the video files are stored in this format. The files that start with the name Recent are those that are recorded in the last one hour. Those files that start with the name Save are those that occur when you press the dash cam icon on the screen. Interestingly, the front in the name gives some indication that future updates may have other cameras also saved most likely the rear camera. When you insert a USB drive with the Tesla Cam folder name and at least two gigabytes of space, the car will show a dash cam icon with a red dot showing that it is recording. For the rest of the video, I'm going to be showing the Tesla dash cam versus the Street Guardian dash cam video side by side so you can see the difference between the two.
See you in the next video.